big mistakes made by the world's best investors, and how to avoid them. Successful investing is really hard. Even the world's best investors sometimes fail miserably. Big Mistakes, by Michael Batnick, is a must-read for anyone looking to learn from the costly failures of others. Here are 5 lessons from 5 famous investors you need to know. Number 1. Benjamin Graham We all know Benjamin Graham is the father of value investing. He set up the Ben Graham joint account in 1926. He ran an arbitrage strategy with convertible preferred stock in the account and was long the preferred and short the common stock. He lost 20% in 1929 after selling his shorts while holding the long positions in the preferred. Believing the worst was over, Graham went all in on value and lost an additional 50% in 1930, he used margin. In total, the father of value investing lost 70% from 1929 to 1932. Lesson, it's critically important to be aware of the value, but it's more important not to be a slave to it. Graham's mistakes teach us that there are no ironclad laws in finance and that cheap can always get cheaper. Number 2. Mark Twain Considered one of the fathers of American literature, Twain earned a great deal of money from his writings and lectures but would plow his savings into risky ventures. He had a bad habit of sinking his capital into what turned out to be terrible investments. He speculated on other people's new business ventures, his own ventures, and the stock market. Rather than get out, he doubled down on the losses. A venture in the publishing business bankrupted him, although he eventually repaid all his debts. As Twain said, the most important thing when speculating is to keep your losses manageable. Paper cuts sting, but they heal. Shotgun wounds, on the other hand, those are tough to come back from. Lesson, to avoid Twain size losses, investors need to ask themselves how much they're willing to lose before they invest. And avoid doubling down on losses. Number 3. Jesse Livermore At one time, Jesse Livermore was one of the richest people in the world. He was the basis for the main character in reminiscences of a stock operator and is considered the original wolf of Wall Street. Livermore made and lost a fortune multiple times over. He was a technical trader and often made decisions based on rules of thumb he had seen work after decades as a trader. Investing rules of thumb offer simple shortcuts for investors, but hide the complex nature of markets. The rules may work some of the time, but not always. Your rules become blinders to what's going on in markets, which then leads to bad decisions. As Livermore said, I kept trading, and losing. I persisted in thinking that the stock market must make money for me in the end. But the only end in sight was the end of my resources. The lessons Livermore never learned. 1. By constantly trading, with leverage, you're bound to go broke. 2. There are risks to never being satisfied with a ridiculous amount of money. Ask yourself, how much would be enough? Number 4. John Maynard Keynes As one of the most influential economists of the 20th century, his ideas fundamentally changed the theory and practice of macroeconomics. Keynes advocated using fiscal and monetary policies to mitigate the adverse effects of economic downturns. Keynes's initial foray into investing was the short-term trading of currencies and commodities based on macro bets after World War I. His results were dismal. He lost it all and needed to be bailed out by family and friends. Wisely, Keynes shifted his strategy to a more long-term approach after taking over the King's College Endowment Fund and the portfolios of two insurance companies. After his initial trading failures, Keynes adopted an approach similar to Benjamin Graham. He began buying shares trading below their intrinsic value and holding for the longer term. Lesson, Keynes had the humility to learn from his mistakes. Adopt and practice investment strategies that have stood the test of time. Number 5. Warren Buffett Buffett made numerous mistakes over his long career, but one of his biggest was his investment in Dexter Shoes. He paid $433 million for Dexter using Berkshire stock and diluted shareholders to buy a business that was worth nothing a few years later. Dexter couldn't compete with foreign competitors. His purchase of the company was likely due to overconfidence thanks to his successful purchase of another shoe company, H. H. Brown, a few years early. Buffett said, I gave away 1.6% of a wonderful business, one now valued at $220 billion, to buy a worthless business. To date, Dexter is the worst deal that I've made. Lesson, understand the endowment effect. 
we put more value on things we own than before we bought them. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to Winning TV and watch more videos that teach you ways to win the game of life. Shared with others. We appreciate we study markets for sharing this information.